Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, the oil contracts, uh, WTI. And as you can see that we had last week, we had quite a big pullback. And um, this week we have seen quite a modest gains in the, in the oil market. Um, I believe that we are uh, trying to create a range. Uh, and I believe that we are going to fill this gap and we will start to see a range between uh, uh, 30, uh, uh, 34 and uh, 41 or 42 a range about this area here. And uh, I believe that the 50 moving average will be uh, a major uh, support level and the 200 moving average will be a major resistance uh, level um, so we can we, uh, our line I believe that we will have a major resistance around this area here a resistance area and we will have a, a support area around here so oil likes to um, likes to trade in ranges so likes to have a upper limit and a lower limit and uh, trade in between these ranges we can see in the historical patterns in here uh, that oil historically doesn't have these massive declines and then massive uh, gains and so on it likes to trade uh, within a range and so on and I believe that this is going to be um, the new range if we look at the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement levels we have them sorry we have them here take the highs to the very lows we can see that uh, the 200 moving average it will be moving down here and we have the uh, 61.8 percent uh, Fibonacci retracement level here so this will be a massive resistance area here just about uh, above this gap so this will be um, a selling opportunity as um, will be um, this support level here will be a buying opportunity we um, change this uh, Fibonacci retracement to uh, look at um, this here do that again here we go we can see that if prices were to fall uh, significantly the first uh, um, resistant level will be at the 28 um, uh, $28 uh, dollars area of 30 uh, 38.2 um, Fibonacci retracement however um, this may happen if uh, the cases uh, if coronavirus cases um, start to increase and the economy shuts down again then we'll see a scenario where we'll go much lower um, in the long run uh, when the economy starts again and um, for example the cruise liner starts uh, sailing in again and airliner starts to uh, flying again so on we will see prices go gradually up because uh, production has been cut and and um, and uh, and uh, and so on but in the short term in the medium term I believe that we are going to see uh, this market start trading within this range um, uh, yeah and so on so thank you for listening and um, a good trading thank you very much